As Mike mentioned, overnight showers caused flooding in many parts of New Jersey. Now that includes areas where residents are still recovering from last month's flooding. Lodi getting very hit hard with major flooding and road closures, forcing some water rescues and even causing all public schools to close for the day today. We're going to turn things over to Arthur Chi, and he is live with the situation there in Lodi. Arthur, what do we know this morning? Uh, we know it's not good to be a resident of Lodi this morning. Uh, for orientation, we are on Main Street over here. We are parallel to the Saddle River. This is not the Saddle River, but take a look at Main Street right now. It is closed off. It is flooded through. We've got a couple of things to show you here, so let's get through some of them. Uh, people trapped in their homes had to be rescued. That's our first bit of video over here. Uh, this is a mostly residential neighborhood. As you mentioned, uh, schools are now closed out here for the day. Some of the businesses are closed down, um, not just because customers Customers like those being rescued are, are not their customers today, but it, this is also possibly impacting their employees and whether or not they're able to show up at work as well. Let's get to the next bit of video, and that shows you how the area is hit. There are cars that are flooded up to the rooftops in the flood uh, waters um, that we have out here. Uh, separately, there's the van with a much higher clearance in a different area, and that's taken in about three or four feet of water as well. Uh, the homes, 56,000 homes are estimated without power across the state of New Jersey right now. We're betting a lot of them happen out here. And you can see water lines in some cases coming up to basements, but in some cases coming up to the main floor in homes as well. Uh, no secret for people who own homes like this. They know that um, furnaces are uh, in the basement very often. And if that's not working in this type of weather, uh, that's just really not good news. We talked to one resident who, resident who is very worried about uh, the water reaching his furnace. Right now, it's, it's, it's kind of frightening because you're, you're sitting there and I know what number puts it in my back, in, in, in my house. And that number is 9.41 and right now it's at 9. So I've only got 4 tenths of a foot. i got like 4 or 5 inches. And that water's going to start coming in my house. I've done everything I could to prepare for it. I actually got a new pump. Now take a look at the other uh, uh, elements that we're collecting from different parts of New Jersey outside of Lodi, uh, dealing with very similar circumstances uh, as what we are seeing here. Uh, one of the key questions being asked right now is what can be done about this? And there is a lot of focus on how things are built. Uh, New Jersey is a state that is already dense and getting denser when it comes to its population. And storms are becoming not just more intense, but also those intense storms are occurring more frequently. Governor Phil Murphy spoke with Good Day New York a few hours ago about how his state is getting battered. There's a cumulative effect here. It's not just the event that happened last night and into the morning. It's the rain a few weeks ago. It's the snow that got packed in. We've got more to come this weekend. Now, sometimes when we cover flooding stories, we're talking about how people are trying to get through what just happened to them, but there is a distinctly different uh, fear in the air, if we can use that word, because they know that there are other storms coming and this is not a one-time thing. They're going to be dealing with this again and again uh, in the near future, including possibly as early as this coming weekend. That's the latest from here in Lodi, New Jersey. Arthur Chiang, Fox 5 News.